Hello, this video is just a brief overview of how to read this website and then how to take advantage of all the exciting data sets available and how to take them from this website and then put them into an R data file that then we can use in R Commander or in just regular R as well. So just kind of to explain the format of this before we go into R, this first column here that's called package lists all right here just says data sets, but if we scroll down we'll see other names as well. This is the location of the data set. So when we do later download a package, this is the package name that we'll be using. The item name is actually the name of the data set themselves. And you'll notice that some of them are abbreviated um, and all in common, they don't have any spaces in the names and they don't start with a number. They all start with a letter. And that's just because um, this is the R name that you'd have to type in to get this data set. And so it's following the naming conventions that are required by R. And then finally, this title column here is giving you that full overview of, for example, BOD is not very descriptive, but the title here tells me it's biochemical oxygen demand. So then I have the full name of the data set. And if I go over these columns at the very end, I'll notice that rows is going to tell me how many rows are in my data set. So for air passengers, it's 144 rows. That's 144 observations. That'll be my N, my sample size. And then I'll see here columns. That's the number of variables that are included in my data set. And so in this case, two will tell me that there are 144 observations on two variables for these air passenger data set. We are gonna uh, ignore the CSV column. Um, there's a little bit of discrepancy in what it says is here and what actually it downloads. So we're gonna, not gonna use this method to download our data sets, um, just ignoring the CSV column. And then finally, this doc column, this last column, is actually probably our most important column to really pay attention to. And for example, if I'm interested in this BOD, biochemical oxygen demand data set, but I'm not quite sure what it is, I can click on doc and this will take me to a description document about the entire data set. So it'll tell me all of the variables. So it said it's two columns, but the two column variables are actually time and demand. It'll give me the actual source and then it'll just give me any background or pertinent information that I need in order to use this data set. So that's really helpful if you're trying to find a data set for a homework assignment and you're not quite sure what these things stand for, what they mean, you can always click on that doc button and take you over to the full description. So let's go ahead and scroll through and let's pretend that I'm interested in the And let's pretend I'm interested in this baseball data set here. So it's called baseball for short, and it's in the BCD package. So in order to get this data set into R, I'm going to go to my R window here, and I'm going to have to load that package. And so I've cheated a little bit, and I just put the, the, all of the instructions I'll be using today are available right here listed but I'll also put them in the uh, closed captioning of this video so you're free to copy and paste and modify anything as you need. So the first thing I need to do is install the package. So I'm gonna use this first line here, install.packages, and now I just need to change this package name part right here, and it's actually called VCD. So I'm gonna type in VCD and I'm gonna hit enter. And while that loads, the next thing I'm going to have to do after I install the package is load it. So I'm going to get that command ready. This library is going to actually load the package. So after I see that it's been downloaded, I'm going to do library. And now again, I'm going to do library and change it to my package name, which was VCD in, that, in those quotations. And I'm going to type in enter. And it's loading anything that I need to use it, which is good. And now I can actually load my data set. So I'm going to type in cheating and using this command right here, data, and I'm going to put in the name of my data set instead of the generic data set. So I'm going to hit backspace, and then in those parentheses, I'm going to type in capital baseball. Notice that I'm going exactly as it appears here. So any capitalization or any um, underscores or anything, it's important that we copy it exactly as it appears on the website. And then I'll type in enter. And now my data set is loaded. And if you do want to take a look before you uh, save your data set, you can always open it up. Just do summary, baseball. Again, notice that I'm using that same naming conventions here, and I type enter. 
And now I can just get an overview of uh, some basic statistics, the min, the first quartile, the median, of all the different variables available in my data set. So that's really helpful for me to take a look at and know about. And so now I'm, I'm confident that there's actually data there, so I can go ahead and save it. So before I save it, I always highly recommend that you take the time to set your working directory. That's what set WD stands for. And that's just telling you, telling R where you want everything saved by default. It makes it a little bit easier to find later on. I usually just save everything to my desktop. It's easiest to navigate when I'm doing a current project and then later on I can move in and save it somewhere else. But by default, it's easy to just do set, set working directory to desktop and then hit enter. And so now that that's set up, I can save my package or my, my file. So to save, I'm stealing from this code over here, copying and pasting, but just notice that it's save, and now it's not data set. I have to put in the correct name, so it's capital baseball. And then the file name here, I'm only gonna change the part in front of the period. So between the quotation and the period is where I'm gonna name my file, and it doesn't have to be any, it can be anything you want, as long as it does not have any spacing. So for example, it doesn't have to be capital baseball, I could do lowercase baseball, and I hit enter, and it's not gonna seem like it did anything. So just for a sanity check, I'm gonna minimize, I'm gonna go to my desktop here, and I'm gonna notice that my baseball R data has appeared. So I'm, I'm happy with that, and so it means that I was successful, and now I can take that data set that I've just downloaded and put on my desktop, and I can load it into R Commander, I can um, take it and open it into regular R and do any analysis or homework questions that I need to do directly um, with the tools that we've worked on this semester. So I hope you enjoy this new tool. It's very exciting. I highly encourage you to spend a little bit of time and scroll through. You'll be very surprised by all of the different uh, topics covered in this data set. Um, one caveat that I want to mention is when you are downloading data sets, I recommend that you click on the doc file and just make sure that there's no missing values. So this one doesn't mention any missing values. And so, for example, the insect sprays data set would be good, but you might find one that says it has missing values and that might be a little bit more difficult and outside of the scope of this course to work with. So enjoy and we hope to see you in office hours.